after a 6-10 season, the Giants looking to get back on track in a competitive NFC East. I'm Jason Gilbo taking a look at the G-Men here at Fantasy Football Cafe. Uh, last season brought out one of the, the big rookie sensations, Odell Beckham Jr., monster year, 91 receptions on 132 targets, 1,300 yards, and 12 touchdowns, and just some highlight reel catches. The guy was really the bright spot in New York last season. Um, you know, 12 touchdowns is something that will be tough to duplicate, um, you know, but you can't really put it past him. I think the upside still remains fairly high with him, and he's kind of immediately jumped into a top five wide receiver, uh, you know, fantasy, from a fantasy standpoint um, aspect with his stats already, and it's pretty impressive. Um, and I think he's going to get even more targets this year, uh, even with Victor Cruz and Ruben Randall and Larry Donnell all there, you know, too. Um, I think you're going to see the Giants throw the ball, you know, quite a bit. Um, you know, the hype is pretty, pretty legit. Um, the guy's late round first, late first round pick or early second is where I've seen him go. Um, so, you know, Odell Beckham's going to come in as your top guy from the Giants. Victor Cruz, uh, suffered just a truly awful injury, uh, ruptured patellar tendon. And, um, you know, that kind of set up the table for 2014 numbers from Randall and Beckham. Um, with Cruz coming back, I don't think, you know, it's going to hurt him too much. I think Cruz is probably going to be the third most productive wide receiver on that team. Um, I just don't think he's going to come back much from, from the injury and do well. So that's going to be an issue. Um, but just Victor Cruz being out there is really going to help the Giants as a whole. Um, you know, much like other tight ends, Larry Donald, if he doesn't score, he's not going to have a ton of value. There's not enough, you know, not enough receptions in the yard yard to keep him afloat for for a consistent tight end week to week um but you know he still should be on radars for streaming purposes um you know if he does end up scoring some touchdowns and having a nice stretch you can definitely grab him off the waiver wire so that's probably the most where i see donald is going this season um but you know because you know they throw the ball a ton they threw a ball a lot last year he could have some fantasy value um but I don't think he's worthy of a draft pick. You can probably scoop him up at some point during the season if anything comes of it. So, um, Giants threw the ball ninth most times in the league last season, fourth most offensive plays. Um, you know, you're going off a pretty, you're going up against a pretty soft NFC defense. I don't think any of them are really too tough. Um, the Dallas secondary ranks pretty well, but um, you know, overall the defenses are really soft in the NFC East. A lot of the strength of schedules for those four teams are, are you know, painfully easy. So. Um, you know, with a core like, like Eli Manning has, there's plenty of talent in his disposal. He's coming off a pretty solid fantasy season, 4,400 yards, um, with 30 touchdowns. Um, and I believe we're going to in for, for, a, you know, a similar year. Uh, you know, the INTs are going to be there, uh, double digits, but you know, overall, I think Eli Manning is quite underrated as a fantasy quarterback. Going to throw the ball a ton, um, and 30 touchdowns is a pretty safe floor for him this season. So... I really like him in such a bigger volume offense and, and you know, the run, the no huddle, running a lot of plays, um, and they're going to air the ball out, so it's going to be nice to see Manning, um, especially at his ADP. you got to love his value coming into this year. Uh, looking at the run game, got it all over the place last season. You have Rashad Jennings with the MCL, MCL issue. Um, you know, he's been injury prone in the past. You know, coming in healthy, if he, if he stays healthy, he's going to lead the Giants in attempts on the ground. Um, you can likely snag him later in drafts. Um, is a bench roll with some upside or deeper leagues, obviously in your flex spot, um, that kind of deal there. Um, you know, I think Jennings has a chance to produce as long as he stays healthy. Uh, Vereen's going to be solid in PPR. I think, you know, being in a no huddle offense, a passing team, I don't think the defense is going to hold a lot of teams. So I think you're going to see the Giants trying to force some points. Uh, Vereen's going to be a solid PPR guy out of the backfield because really, you know, his game is relying on the passing attack. Uh, Andre Williams, you know, ranks third on the list. Um, could be in contention um, from what I've seen, but I don't think so. Um, you know, the only thing is if Jennings goes down, that leads to a bigger fantasy role. So, overall, offense is going to pro provide a ton of value. Um, I think, you know, with such a bad defense, um, they should be involved in a lot of shootouts. And Eli's going to throw, um, you know, that's going to put put uh, Randall and Beckham ready to reproduce yet again in 2015.